All right, we've seen our fair share of flooding events this year for sure, and it's really hammered home in the deadly, uh, how deadly these flood waters can be. I mean, it's really taught us some lessons. Faster, more accurate flood prediction could mean a difference between life and death. That's what we need to do is get better predictions. At the Louisiana State University, LSU, they're looking to do just that. They developed a model that incorporates AI to look at flooding factors in a completely new way. Joining us now is Dr. George Shia. He's professor of oceanography and coastal sciences at LSU. Doctor, first of all, thank you so much for joining me on Fox Weather this afternoon. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you, Bob. It's my pleasure. You know, this is so interesting to me right now because you're talking about this model that you guys have developed that incorporates AI, so a learning mechanism with the machine, hopefully making things speed up just a bit, right? A little bit. Uh, indeed, we test that uh, the speed could be up to uh, more than 100,000 faster than a traditional numerical model. Holy cow. So why did you guys yeah. decide to embark on this project? Uh, I think uh, the, the Gulf Coast has been like uh, damaged a lot over the past years by compound flooding. Mm -hmm. So, But we know the traditional computer models, they are mostly expensive. So for example, we, it takes like 500 cores for us to finish a 72 hour forecast on our uh, supercomputer cluster. So the, the AI model is trying to get like faster forecast, not only the, at a lower computational cost, but with a higher accuracy. So when you talk about compound flooding, you're talking about uh, the freshwater flooding with the rain and also the saltwater storm surge? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is when, when the hurricane is approaching, we, we will have flood not only from the ocean, but also the water falling from the sky. Mm. The most complicated part is their interaction. Doctor, have you been uh, pleased with the results you've seen so far with the forecasting? Yeah, we are very pleased. Uh, so far, uh, we have been tested on some uh, past uh, hurricanes, including Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Ida, uh, Hurricane uh, Nicholas, and Harvey. And the performance of the AI model is superb. It is uh, much faster than the numerical model and with a higher accuracy. So when you're talking about faster, are you talking you can pump out a forecast within minutes? Uh, less than minutes. Uh, so that right now, the computational cost mm -hmm. for a, a 72 hour forecast is use a laptop for, for within four seconds. Oh my God. So you can just continually update this if you had to then? Exactly. And we can run thousands of uh, scenarios without a uh, very heavy computational load. So you're forecasting what the flooding is going to look like, right? So you're taking into account the rain it's going to fall. But to, to, to do that, you need an actual other weather model, right? What other models are you using besides AI? Uh, we use uh, the, the AI was built uh, with a combination of computer models. That is a in-house development of uh, a regional ocean model fully coupled with a uh, hydrolog hydrological model called Wolf Hydro. So we developed this uh, dynamic two-way coupled uh, modeling technique, which is uh, very advanced, but also they are expensive to carry out. Oh, this is great. So is this going to be operational for the public, or is it just in-house so far? Uh, right now it's, uh, right it's uh, in-house, but within the next two weeks, we hope to bring it online. Oh, wow. So uh, someone like me could access this if we had a hurricane headed towards the uh, northern Gulf Coast later on this year, maybe? Exactly. This is that is the plan, and we want uh, the the general public to benefit from this uh, AI uh, forecast. Oh my gosh! Listen, doctor, this is one of the best things that we can see because we just saw all the flooding concerns we had uh, just in Texas alone as well. Do you, do you think we can applicate your uh, your model to other things other than tropics? Can we talk about you know synoptic type storms that are dropping down out of the plains, things like that? Uh, yes, because the nature of the uh, numer the computer model behind this AI model is we run both hydrological flood model and also the surge model. So it can handle the, not only uh, uh, the, the, the surge at the coastal region, but also the inland flood very well. Wow, this is fantastic news right here because we could use all the help we can get when you're talking about trying to predict where a flood is going to be and how long it's going to last. Dr. George yeah, Shui, thank exactly. you so much for joining me this afternoon from LSU. Uh, by the way, LSU football coming online pretty soon as well. I've got a daughter who goes to Ole Miss. <laughs> I got a girl that is a rebel, so uh, we're, we're yeah. rivals right now, my friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But great, great to talk to you, doctor. I appreciate you taking yeah, the time. My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Take care.